Going on, Jerome. So, announced last week that the Minnesota Fighting Vikings had brought back guard Dalton Reisner, uh, who had played uh, exceedingly well for them last year. He is back. Back again. Riser's back. Tell a friend, right? And the full details of the contract were scant at, at the time. Knew it was a one-year deal. Knew it was incentive-laden. But, again, it was just so weird. All right, so Reisner performed relatively well last season for the Vikings. Frankly, uh, some of the best left guard play the team has had since, I don't know, Steve Hutchinson. And everyone in the mom pre- predicted that he will get a decent, maybe not record-breaking contract, may- maybe not like a, a Robert Hunt-type deal, you know, $20 million per season, which is going right now for superstar guards. But it's a little something-something. Uh, and maybe multiple years. Uh, Pro Football Focus have projected three years, $5.5 million per year, $10 million guaranteed. But it didn't happen. For, for the second offseason in a row. And Reisner was frustrated, you know, saying that he was just looking, he wasn't looking for a bag, simply just a starting guard contract. And while Reisner remained a free agent, the Vikings made a commitment to uh, longtime backup Blake Brandle, three year, nine and a half million dollar deal, the former 2026 round pick, who had been a very valuable and versatile backup for the Vikings and potentially saw him uh, as uh, the starting left guard. And Chris Cooper, offensive line coach, uh, OC West Phillips, head coach Kevin O'Connell have all gone to bat for Blake Brandle. He's been lined up with the ones even before they re-signed Reisner and even after they've they've re-signed him. Uh, and it seems to be his job to lose at, at left guard. But full details of the Reisner contract are in and it's surprisingly low, right? So you knew it probably wasn't going to be a ton, but this is really surprising. So Gessling, uh, Dalton Reisner got a $1.441 million base, 600000 guaranteed, a 500 k signing bonus, and 500 k rooster bonus from the Vikings. That's at total of $2.41 million uh, with the 500 k roster bonuses uh, on top of that. And you know, part of the roster bonuses, I'm sure, are have to do with playing time, have to do with starts, have to do with wh- whatever. But it's interesting that it's not included in the, in the total because now they're considered not likely to be earned. So, hmm. uh, so I mean, it, it just got me like, huh. Also, this is not me, but I feel it's pretty close. It's close enough, man. Uh, but also... What's interesting, so last year when Reiser signed uh, for week three uh, during the season last year, it was a one-year prorated $4 million deal with $2.25 million guaranteed. So it's almost half. So it's almost half of what he had last year and also with significant fewer guarantees. Uh, so it, it doesn't even guarantee him a roster spot uh, on the 53. Also, Mike Kliss, longtime beat writer in, in Denver, lost a great opportunity. Kliss commander. That's all. But just comparing the, the Brandle and the Reisner contracts. So Brandle, three-year deal. Uh, this year's base is 1.1, but the total guarantee of the contract is significantly larger, $4.75 million, half of the deal. $2 million signing bonus, 100 uh, k per year in rooster bonuses, uh, so $9.5 million total. And Reisner, you know, like we said, one-year deal, just above veteran minimum, uh, small guarantee, and only $2.41 million, which is less than he got last year. So... Obviously, like, so words are words are words, but you always focus on actions. And the actions from this see that they, they're more committed to Brandle than they are with Riser, both in the timing of the contracts as well as uh, the size and length of it as well. Hmm. Uh, but l- looking at the Vikings O-line, I-, I do think that Reisner is going to be more than just uh, just a backup, right? I-, I think that he will push Brandle. He will push Ed Ingram. I don't think Ed Ingram is guaranteed a starting spot. Uh, but I think as of right now, like, Brandle does have the inside track at left guard, and Ed Ingram has the inside track at right guard. And that's the way they've been lining up at OTA so far. I'm sure that's uh, the way they're going to be lining up during mandatory minicamp. Darisaw, Brandle, Bradbury, Ingram, and O'Neal, but... Either way, like I love that Reisner ha- is start uh, is capable of being a starter and is going to be in that mix and at minimum at minimum at depth as well as an opportunity uh, as well as an alternative. Uh, but I think that these guys are going to have an opportunity to compete and that's going to bring out the best in all these guys and it's going to be the best result for the Vikings. But uh, again, it's so weird. I mean, Reisner has been a full-time starter his entire career you know four-year starter left guard for the broncos didn't get a deal uh didn't even have any visits really uh until he visited the vikings in training camp and then signed the deal in week three with the vikes and then this offseason like there was no team that could do better than this it's just really odd and i I don't even think it's the guard market because the guard market is actually really good is it something about reisner like there hasn't been any smoke or any 
reports of him being a bad teammate or weird in the locker room or anything like that. So I, I, I don't, I don't know what it is. It, it truly is an anomaly uh, that for the second off season in a row, you know, Dalton Reisner had to pull teeth to get a, a very small contract. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Dalton Reisner, full contract details. Uh, Lesnar, your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skoll, production value.